Hey guys, um, Jason here again. Uh, sorry I'm a little late with the video. Uh, things were a little nuts yesterday with work and everything, so I didn't get a chance to do it. Um, plus, I wanted to actually delay it a bit because um, this is going to actually have a few edit cuts in it because I'm on my way right now to drive to pick up my dad. So this is going to be a little longer video because we're headed off to Toronto um, because I have to go to my uh, operative pre-assessment. So it's going to be basically my anesthetic assessment. So uh, things are going well on the fast so far. Uh, I'll um, probably have an update with weight actually because they're probably going to weigh me while I'm there. And then I'll be able to tell you guys what to, what has happened so far. I did have a question from one of my viewers, so I thought I'd get that out of the way real quick. Um, uh, it's from Yara. He was asking if I have the willpower to do the month-long fast, does that make me question my choice to go through with the surgery? And uh, he's asking that because he says he knows a lot of friends who have gone through the pre-operative stages and realize they've got the willpower to do it and they continue on. It's a very good question. Um, it's one that I've been asked by a lot of people actually uh, and I figure I should get it out of the way. Yes, I have the willpower to complete this thing for the month that we're looking at but what I don't have is the willpower to sustain this for a long time without any additional support. That's what this surgery is going to give me. Right now I could dive into a, the biggest bowl of french fries you've ever seen in your life. I feel hungry all the time. One of the things that this surgery is going to help to do is it's going to help to calm a lot of those uh, a lot of those cravings. It's going to help me to, to feel a lot more uh, full all the time. So that's really why I want to uh, really why I not not I want to, why I need to do this surgery. So it's not, uh, it's not a question of just willpower alone, it's just a question of needing this extra tool to allow me to lose more. I've sort of plateaued, I feel. I don't feel I've lost a whole lot more weight since my initial start of this fast where I lost a, a bunch because of the thing. I, I, I just don't feel it. I'll know for sure and shortly when I, uh, when I get my preoperative testing done and everything. So for now, um, We'll leave it there, and uh, when you see me, I'll have uh, driven a bit to Toronto and go and get all my stuff. So, uh, tune in then. Okay, so I know I said I was going to be right back as soon as I uh, did the first half of this video um, because of, from my doctor's appointment, but my doctor's appointment was quite a few days ago. In fact, um, my birthday's passed since then, so that's about, uh, well, we're looking at uh, 9, 10, 11 days so far have passed. We're on the 1st of June, which is Canada Day, or 1st of July, sorry, which is Canada Day. <clears throat> so the results of my thing is there I'm fully okay to go. I can uh, have my surgery, all my blood tests and everything look good. Um, I have lost since being on the shakes up until the 20th, so that's from the 5th of June to the 20th of June, which is 15 days, I lost 25 pounds. That brings my grand total from peak to 87 pounds since November that I've lost. That's uh, not a small amount. Uh, in fact, my friend is saying I should start measuring them in uh, the amount of people I've lost. Uh, like I've lost a, a, the equivalent of a 14-year-old um, teen, a 14-year-old kid. Um, <clears throat> So right now I'm just heading off to mom and dad's it's Canada Day, as I said, so I got some laundry to do that's in the back and things like that, but I just thought I'd finish this video up because I feel like a dumbass and, an, and a jerk for not posting like I should. Um, things have just been so crazy leading up to this. Today we're going out to, I'm going to go out to Costco, pick up my vitamins and my proteins and stuff that I'm going to need for the surgery, and the next video you're going to see after this one is going to be me in Toronto. Uh, the day before my surgery, which I leave tomorrow. So I may do another time lapse of the drive to Toronto. Not too sure yet, um, but I'll definitely keep you posted. So I want to thank everyone for watching. And uh, like I said, I'll have another video up shortly, sometime around my surgery. Uh, my friend's going to put it together for me. He's going to actually edit it and uh, and shoot it. So uh, we'll, that should turn out with a lot better quality. All right. So... <clears throat> 
I'll catch you later. And when you next see me, I'll either be in Toronto or I will be in the recovery room, which should probably be some epic video when I'm still half dazed and everything. Well, not that I'm not always half dazed. All right, uh, I'll catch you later, everyone, and uh, have a good one. Bye.